Would you like a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta code? If you want to win one, all you have to do is subscribe, drop a like, and then leave a nice comment in the comment section below. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, possibly Call of Duty 2019. We're going to be discussing a campaign in next year's Call of Duty. We're just going to call it Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 2019 for now, just just for argument's sake and just for easier purposes. We've got some new information regarding it, and you might be thinking, fuck in hell. We haven't even heard about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 a lot yet. We don't even know the beta date, and you're already on about 2019. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we need to look to the future. So, without further ado, let's talk about Call of Duty 2019. Right, so yesterday, a tweet came out from Charlie and Sarah, and it links an article. And it says, new Infinity Ward job listing suggests Call of Duty 2019 will have a campaign. So this got your boy aroused. So I'm thinking, right, so it's going to have campaign. Black Ops 4 didn't, but Modern Warfare 4 will. So this this has already got me thinking. I'm like, right, okay. So the, the job description is this, ladies and gentlemen. Just, I mean... None of you are going to apply for it, or if you are, you're a very smart human being. I'm proud of you. Keep coming to my channel. I'll give you some advice for Call of Duty to make it better. Anyway, it says, In this hands-on role, you'll collaborate with scripters, sound designers, writers, and directors to implement voiceover performances in-game across a wide variety of player experiences, from combat to set pieces. So... That's, that's like the job description. I, I probably didn't need to read that out to you, ladies and gentlemen, but I thought, why not? And then this, this is the kick of it. It says, A strong desire to bring to life game characters through naturalistic and cinematic implementations of vocal performances. So what what does that mean? There are, there are a bunch of long words there, ladies and gentlemen. So what it means is bringing a fictional character to life, giving it meaning, giving it purpose. So if you if you look back in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, when Soap got shot in the head, and everyone was just like, "Oh my God, Soap, don't die!" You grow sort of a relationship with them. You grow like a bond with them. So like at the end of GTA 5, I was so fucking sad, like unbelievably sad about this, right? When they all go their separate ways, it's just like, oh, it's like an end of an era thing. It's bringing characters to life pretty much, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what the job description says. But why would you want to bring, say, a multiplayer player to life? Because all they're going to do is just shout, player here, player there enemy UAV and all that good stuff so they wouldn't do that much detail for a Call of Duty multiplayer person so like someone in multiplayer online for for example me for example they wouldn't be shouting that like the other players won't want to get you know bring my character to life that's just stupid isn't it I'll have to go around talking to everyone in game and even part of my character so this is a big hint towards you know the campaign side of things bringing the campaign back and little facts told me that more people actually pay or buy Call of Duty for the campaign rather than the multiplayer. Now, I thought this was complete BS. I honestly, I, I was so shocked when I heard about this because obviously me being a multiplayer person that I am, I, I'm just, I'm instantly assuming that most people buy for the multiplayer because that's, that's what I thought Call of Duty was about. Obviously the campaign's been in there for a while, but I didn't actually think that, you know, people went out of their way and more people went out of their way to buy the campaign specifically of the multiplayer. I mean, that boggled my brain. But I want to I wanna get your guys' thoughts. Bring your thoughts into my comment section below in a second, ladies and What I want to know is, are you happy that they're bringing Call of Duty, like, the campaign back? Or would you prefer them to, you know, leave that out? You're not really bothered about the campaign. And... Let me know, are you bothered about the campaign not being in for Call of Duty Black Ops 4? I think it's an interesting turn of events not bringing the campaign back. Because, as you as you guys know, the facts that I've just given you, more people pay for the campaign. So, now that the campaign's not in Black Ops 4 anymore, are people going to take a step back and not purchase Call of Duty Black Ops 4, specifically because it doesn't have campaign? It's an interesting thing to discuss in the, the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you've got 
any thoughts just let me know but i want to thank you all right now because i did not expect yesterday's video to do as well as it did honestly ladies and gentlemen i thought that yesterday's video would you know it would get you know 15 20 views you know sort an average but instead that got like i think it was 40 it's up currently 47 views which is insane, so I just want to thank you all quickly for that, and I've also approved a ton of comments as well, so anyone that left a comment and you thought I've ignored you, I haven't, I love you all, I've just had to approve them all because YouTube put them into a separate section. But anyway guys, I hope you all having a great day, if you did enjoy, please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and give me some comments in the feedback in the comment section below. But this is Lukey, and I'm signing out, peace.